Remember when you did the stay clinical thing? You still with the same woman? Friends are. <laughs> Yeah. That's my that's my that's my that's my So your musical gift is that yeah. from your forefathers? It, Definitely from the forefathers. Because when I'm singing, are they? Yeah. You're a singer. <laughs> <laughs> the private space, because they allow us to do that. Spaces so they have it, it make has love in, make babies in. We go there. Damn, chill. Hey, I'm stoked, man. So I have no more shuma kana who said, um, um, you, you need to be afraid of your of your craft if you wanna master it. Woo! Yeah. Some. Man is the root of evil. I smoke the whole tree. That thing has always been there. Oh, mama, no. I think it had a lot of topics that South Africa was not ready to touch on. This is Tania. Let's go on stage. And some Tana guys. Banda Suba Mabo, Nasa Banda Zola, Tohangala. Like, all, all you could hear was... The name of the track that you're gonna play for us? Ghetto Fabulous. All right, and the name of the artist? Zola. He had the image, he had the persona, that character, that... Oh. <laughs> Man, this guy is special. Delivery, he was exceptional. That album was so... Hard. It was like so grungy and grimy and just raw. Ah, love it. Classic. It made Quito Cats want to rap. Through that one album, Zola was the most popular guy in South Africa. Yo, man, this is like the Michael Jackson. Of Guido. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome. This is not a friend of the show. No. This is a fucking legend oh, of the show. show. Make some noise for Zola Seven. Yes, another one from Zola. Hey, you looking good, man. Yeah. From the last time we saw you, eh? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Takes a while. Yeah. Eventually you find her. What are you eating? <laughs> Yeah. It's almost her. That's the key. That's the key. What she's eating? Eating. It's eating. Hand hands. He found her. Hey, you should have proposed. I'm sorry. Hey, watching her faint. Eventually. My uncle said he was a consul. My uncle, ask consul to mind you. Give me advice about uh, yeah. marriage. You've got how many? How many wives have you had, man? Right? Uh, one. Just one. Yeah. Okay. I got my pep. I'm not so good. Yeah, I'm a pep. I even been so mad. I can't even believe it. It's such a joke. Ongeko. But give me advice, man. Man to man. Man to man. I'm Charlie Chigenzi. Split my pants is short. I'm telling you about you. You smile. No matter what you do, you have to smile mm. and approve. You don't look like a government. But it's so hot later. What? Then why are you consult him so little? Ah, for him, I'll, I'll I'll make an exception. Wait, wait. You say you've got the gift. Yeah, yeah, I got now. Nah, yeah, that's what yeah, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Especially for him a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He holds a special place. So you've only been married once. Yeah, you've only been married once. Uh, I'm... okay. We get married, guy two in Amazulu. We we get married, Lebelungu. Uh, yeah, ring in a wedding certificate, and then we get married, Le Amazulu, which is a lot of cows, a lot of blankets, and a lot of aunties crying, falling, falling all over the floor. Uh -huh. So I haven't done that one. Uh -huh. So I've done Le. Like, yeah, they have a long wedding certificate. Le, it's gonna cost much. It is a thing, and I'm a sponsor. I mean, I'm looking at good 500,000. I'm a Zulum fan. I'm a Turang. I'm a Shadumana. And you go, but I'm a Tanga Tako now. 
I've got nice blankets there. I don't know, the Indian yeah. shops by Diagonal Street. It's a yeah. street. Yeah. Diagonal is a street that you're using. Mm. I see Marshall Town. Yeah. Yeah. Close to Bree. Yeah. The idea is to look good for nothing. Yeah. When's the plan? Yeah. Diagonal, downtown, I was telling you, I woke up, or you go there. But I go to take a look at the Shoni, Lingo, Bangas, who I buy blanket for Anto Washo, and I have to buy it. That's what we do for the Zulus. Are you still with the same uh, wife, the one from uh, Stay Kinical? Remember when you did the Stay Kinical thing? You still with the same woman? When's I? Ukbon is a film. Kuluma macha ama Stay Kinical. Ukbon is a film. When's I? When's I? You still with the same? I liked her, man. I liked her, man. He's into the under the carpet. When's I? And so it's so you're no longer with her. Yeah, you're no longer with her. Uh, the, the person I'm with, I was on board. She could be in this room. I ah, okay. you, you only came with Tutu. Enzo. There's your message. Tutu. <laughs> she looks amazing too. Hey, Tutu, man. Hey. Did you say hey. Ghost Lady dressed up for you because you heard you're looking for another wife? Ghost Lady, Ghost Writers. Hey, you could be in the studio. Hi. Who's your name? It's bomb. Anyway, listen, man. We got you here because we wanted to That's talk about you. <laughs> Uh, wanted to talk about your documentary. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, tell us about that, man. Uh, a documentary uh, is out uh, next Sunday, uh, 6 p.m. Uh, is over S1. Mm. And of course, he... SBC uh, one. Okay. Yes. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Yeah, I was compiled by that guy, Hilda Payan. Mm. Yes. Enzo, Enzo. Enzo, shout give out me my to mic, Enzo. Man. I, I, I want the t-shirt, man. We'll speak here, please, bro. Because Enzo was telling us off air that it took three years for them to do this documentary. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's how long it took, Because yeah? wow. you were on and off, ne? Yes, yeah. I'm getting a sick applying there, and, yeah. and I'm up, and then we're about to shoot, and I go into a coma again, and then... I'm up again, we're about to shoot. I go into a coma, I come back, I'm not looking well. I'm like, okay, put it on hold. So I born in six months' time, it was it was a, a true roller coaster. Mm. Yeah. So eventually So So is this documentary about your life? Because your life is crazy, man. Yo, 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 yo. The documentary is about the the the, the very beginning of career musical. It's about it's about mostly about Umjoem. Yeah. Uh, the album. The other things will have to intellectual property. Mm. And so a lot of our artists, they go and they shoot things with other companies instead of starting their own companies and shooting things under their own companies. Mm. And before you know it, a lot of information is lost. So me lying there, watching the ceiling in Sea Guide all the time to, to think. So the, the things that we'll shoot moving on, all of them will be done under my company. Beautiful. Nice. And uh, I think... Shout out. Of, yeah. Kuluva Entertainment. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Kuluva. Zolisto. Yeah. <laughs> I think something a lot of artists need to do. Mm. Yeah, just be safe. Ikulova, Pumava, the name Kulova. Ikulova, I come on your talent, let's go sit down. You know, Trevor Sekasi, the original hustlers, it's far back from Abu Sofa Town, and the guys who made plan of the system, and not necessarily the guys who went and worked for Abelu. Mm. It's, it's the guys about by seeing bad, about by some party car and everything. So, Mouse Lokshin and you hustling during that system, Okuluf. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and manje mawe kasin manje ne yes what do you think of the kasi now like what's the energy like there right now hey um hey we rough ne yes we so rough we uh, I, I, uh, something like his Zola Seven definitely needs to go back on air oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah he said that yeah. he said that yeah. in the previous Zola interview as well is yeah weird right now. Yeah, this and, climate. And uh, th this generation is asking a lot of questions and, and I don't think they are getting the answers. And most of things are about the entertainment, not about the effect of the guy. So he content as a TV, say she in Chile, and then Kuluman Ale out here in Ule, in Chimponcho, Uzizi Goto. And I'm talking Ule 20 meters straight if I'm going to go into this thing again. Mm, for for who's all seven? Yeah, for. I think Uzizi. Uzizi? Ah, that's not good. Ah, Simfone. Ah, Simfone. Even though I'm skilled in Pinja, I coach you don't have an Oscar so, or a Grammy. Because you think I'm a Grammy when I'm in your own pie. No, Zizi must understand. Let's call Zizi. I've got his number. Do you have? I've got Zizi's number. I'm in the stuff, that's some culture. Zizi, man. You got to be honest. Let's call him. It's fun. He doesn't even see us. It's fun. It doesn't see us here on the podcast. Zizi's just 
just arrived. But how does this is I've just arrived. <laughs> just arrived. <laughs> Mac, wait, I've just arrived. There's no money in the budget. Chigi Chigi. Claim is 20, 15 million for Claim winners. Kalakina, uh, Chigi Chigi. I've just arrived. City got this, you got to house nugget. Is it still this number? Is it still this number? Team Boy with your fan and your uh, I mean, it's an office. Funa Malay, Nicho. Yeah, I think you. Funa Malay, Nimek. 20 meters. How did you get to the 20 meters? 20 meters. 20, 20 like. meters to get this thing running with this youth here. Funa is in there. But now, like, especially you guys, film. School is incredibly expensive. I just learned it this is. year, which you're talking around about 160,000 a year. A year. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hey, how are you, Sisi Kotwa? <laughs> oh, it's easy. Uh, you, li- oh, you, you, you live on the podcast. So Penduka is here. Uh, Zola Seven We've is just here. Arrived. Ghost Lady is here. I don't have an advice for you. You were asking for advice from other people. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Lebu M. Lebu M, is that you? Lebu M, is that you, Lebu M? <laughs> Listen, Zizi. I don't have an advice for you. <laughs> Listen, Zizi, we're trying to bring back uh, Zola 7. How can we do that? Yeah, it's needed in this climate of the country. No, I'll, I'll, I'll call him when you want him. He's right here. He's right here. Kulmana. Hey, Ah, Kulmana. What's that? Minister, <laughs> 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 Oh, just like that. It's done. It's done. <laughs> oh, so, so, so. <laughs> Don't be Don't be getting, oh, I could never. Is he getting a 20 meter? Please, Mzoli. Uh, um, Zizi. Ah, Zizi. Ah. Hey, my mini. Hey, shout out to Zizi Goto, man. So, for example, I built a library in Tat. Yeah. Library in what? Okay. Mm. In less than eight years, everything has gone digital. Huh. So they're like paralyzed sense it's, 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 yeah, it's So the next one I build uh, has to be now just you guys. Mm, That's where you come. Mm, mm, mm. It has to be digital. If I mean, there's any Wi-Fi, all of these things. Internet, everything. So I'm hoping to find the Zola 7 in every province. Wow. I can't do this alone. Uh, yeah. yeah. So give us a, a glimpse of what the new Zola 7 would look like. Every province, I'll find a team of young, budding people. I'll meet them halfway in what they are already doing. And then I'll join them and then I'll try to get a budget for them. Other things, I'll come with them 100%. Other things, so I'm not going to be able to run around alone. It's not fair. Mm. Yeah. So I'll need people in all of those provinces to run with me and help. Maybe in one episode, I might not even necessarily be on TV. Mm. I'll just send other... I'll send you. Mm. And you. We'll run with you. Yes. Solar part. Invite your podcast. Ah, hey. <laughs> no, she was an athlete. <laughs> so we'll run with you. Solar part. Barefoot. And that's a story, right? No company could care to sponsor her. You remember Zola Bart's story. She ran with barefoot. Mm. Zola Bart is an athlete. Mm. Then they named the pass after her. We did as black people. Mm. Crazy, right? That we as black people. Elinia Meritek. We black people. Elinia hmm? Salnemi Meritek. There is another pass called Meritek, named after another female run. For real? Yep. Meritek. Yeah. Which one is that one? Elinia Round. Yes, round. That's all I can say. <laughs> was very taken all round. And taking Funan. Should be home as well. <laughs> Rusty. Uh, no, wrong. <laughs> Bro, you sound so well read, man. Like, and this one thing I've always appreciated about you. What books can you recommend uh, to us, Jay, as black people, a book or books that black people should read? I think as a black person, you should go through Indaba, my children. <laughs> Credo Mutua. Guys, yes. someone fuck someone stole that book from me. <laughs> I bought that book in grade 11 and someone stole it from me. Man, I Credo Credo somebody, it never came back. <laughs> in Daba, my children by Credo Mutua. May yes. soul rest in peace, yes. I think somebody at some point of your life you should read The Art of War. 
Ah, Twelve War. Yeah, it's a but, big book. It's one of yes. those books that just teach you on life. Spiritually, uh, there's a book called Conversations uh, Beyond the Veil, and it's written by a guy called Jasper Say Swain Wase Great Hand Pumulo. So when wow. you get very sick and you cross over to the other side and you start talking to people on the other side, which that place exists, that's when you start understanding who, who, who Jasper Swain. Wow. But I read the book before I had that experience. So uh, whatever they call it, the afterlife does exist. Especially Molera, especially and you hear nothing and you taste nothing and you are with other people and you're asking the right questions. So there, there is Ndaole mm. Ngale on the other side. Those are books that are important. Ngale wa loko ngafundu masambisan. Masambisan? Yeah. What's that? Me peti and pain. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna stay. Hey, don't flew over. Me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I flew over the last time. I'm like, now we understand. The worst and the cooler. But now you might be interested. Well, yes. Masambisan. It's a kiddies book. Oh, Masambisan. Deeply rooted in apartheid. Wow. And designed. Um, Am I allowed to speak freely? Of course. Oh, of course. Well, come on, come to on, mentally on, fuck us up. Mm. Because there were no books that For talked real? about us as Abotaki. And uh, we did not read books that talked about our black presidents that existed in other countries at that time. Instead, they opted to give us Uvon Bismarck, no Hitler. Uh, not Julius Caesar. Mm. So if a teacher said there's actually a black president next door, which is Zimbabwe, we naturally would laugh at him. Mm. That's shy, shy, I got many Rukenya. Yeah, black man <laughs> leading a country. What are, <laughs> the black uh, man, what are you talking about? And you're right, man, because when I was uh, watching Shaka Ilembe, beautiful place, yeah. oh, by mm. the way, oh. yeah, I was like, why didn't they teach that? Ilembe. Mm. Ilembe. 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 Some basin. Not Ilembe. 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 Yes. Ilembe. Yeah. What's Ilembe, actually, Zola? Because you, you're very Hey! Hey, Leon, I'm going to say that. Because I don't know Ilembe. What's Ilembe? It's something to do in Kosi, but in Sazo, Sazo, Buza, and Dabata. But it's in Kosi. Yeah. I'm going to go. No, no, Sazo, you should be home. Okay, that's fine. And it's good. And you see, that's how you know you're so wise. It's good to say, I don't know. Yeah. I'll need to find out. Young Shai. Wow, man. But when I was watching that, I was thinking, why didn't they teach us this in school? Bro, so much rich history. No. What's Fundisa? You hey, know, Hitler. I'm a Simba. Hitler Adolf. I even know his middle Mein Kalf. He got a ring with Hitler. You you were not going to be taught nice. about black icons and black heroes at that point in time because you were being oppressed by a system that from the colonial era into apartheid. If you ask kids, do they know what Dr. Villagas is about? They don't know. Yet there's a school called it Dr. Villagas. If you ask in them. In the street. Would, yeah. If you ask a them what street. is an Aurora, they don't know. Yet there's a school, there's a girl's school called Aurora, but people don't know what Aurora is. So, Sipumaglio system there. But I mean, I know good most things, um, you're not gonna get them in a classroom situation. You're gonna have to go out there and get them yourself. Equal information out there. But I ask Uh Teachers, apart from Ushaka, who are the other people we should know of as young people? Yo, 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 yo. Inko Sumpande. Uh, oh, Pambata. You even did a uh, Pambata. You got a Pambata. Pambata now. Pambata now. Yes. Even when you come out here, Mr. Sir Pambata, right? <laughs> but Pambata was a, 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 a proper king, man. And, and uh, uh, um, these guys were not old. They were young. I mean, most people don't know what Jesus Christ died at age 33. But they portray Unkulun and Jebengar. So most of the revolutions, even in the Bible, even historically, they are started by by the youth. If you follow also our history, like Unkosu Sopuza, what was the Maswati? Sobu, uh, Sopuza, yeah. Man. That's uh, uh, the King Maswati's dad. He had yes. like how many wives? He had like a hundred kids or something. All of those things are things that you're going to have to teach your sons and your daughters. They are not in the textbook yet. Wow. In fact, the reason why most parents take their kids to the so-called private schools is because those things... About Toland private schools are not offered in our Kasi schools. Sad. What a sad yeah, reality. Tennis Aiko. You read on Daily Sun, another black child has drowned, such as Tinguti. Our kids can swim. swim. So we need to. I did build a library in Deni, children's home. It's been closed for close to 10 years, and nobody will explain to me why. So it's not King Ale. Kuna Bantabama in the way you progress. Sakti, Ingandot. 
a library and it's closed. I just ask you books to recommend because people must read, man. Hey, if if we do a digital library, I must understand that the new Wi-Fi finally will be available all the time, every time. Mara, but Elon Musk, he must have thirty percent uh, disadvantage South Africa for him to open his uh, company here in Starlink, mm. yeah. and that provides cheap access of internet, even if you're in the rural areas. Kenya has done it. Mm. South African born man providing internet in Kenya. Before us, because Tina City, he must, he, his company must be 30% uh, disadvantaged to own. Did we just go political up in here? Nah, bro. No, no seriously. <laughs> see, <laughs> see, it's not like we can talk about, about bitches. We yeah, love him. Zizi, sure. Yeah. We love him. Zizi. Figure it out. Manula, sure. But also, these are facts. Yeah. And uh, these are resources that can help the average black person. M. Sansi. This I mean, I know true. what internet means to me. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. daily. I read yeah. a lot, you know, and so, uh, there's books that, I'll be honest, I didn't even read. I got them on e- internet PDF read, but they meant a lot to me. Yeah. And if the average black South African kid can have these things and access them, because they're clearly not providing internet to the rural areas. Very tough. But even then, we need to stimulate the kids via a radio, via a television, oh, to direct them to the things that they should be Googling and reading about in the first place. Yes. Even if they have young kids, they, they, they still Google. But under the slay queen. Whatever has been. idolize them. No, go to Zolu, Jen, Nam Shanjak, and then Yeah. If I came here, I speak. Yeah, but I'm He's got Zol in his name. So let's ask him. Ah. And he said he doesn't smoke Zol. And he, he gave me a profound thing and he was uh, giving me a profound uh, explanation. And I said, pause. I will ask you on the podcast why he doesn't dabble in Zol. Okay. Because he's such a thinker and... Who are not allowed to touch his all at all. And this is what our grandmother used to tell us about our specific lami. Wow. Because mm. Okay. Jeez, uh, that's my that's my that's yeah. my that's my it. thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's my thing, bro. Are you for real? That's my thing. Yes. Penduga, what Penduga? I'm seeing for fun in Langa. Well, 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 that's my thing. So, it's a No, sadly found that out at my mom's funeral. Because yeah. my mom was never married, and they, they kept me saying this thing. I was like, wow, it's so fascinating. That's, that's my family, bro. So, your people got their 16 powers too. We now I, like, I dated two Gamini <laughs> ladies, right? Yeah. You dated your cousins? How? <laughs> and I don't want to lie. That's I don't so... I want to say their names, but two Gamini. And those were one of the best relationships I ever uh... had. <laughs> so, well, not with your for sisters. Real. Not with for your real. sisters. And I always said, I've got a thing for Gamini. <laughs> oh, God. I have a mini. <laughs> Ah. That is why nowadays <laughs> that's a, the, the, that I mean is the other one. The one you mentioned is not our one. That one. No. Wow, nowadays, bro. When we Fuck Google, Zola. when we date women, we really need to Google this. Like bro. really get down to surnames bro. before pillow talk, so that we know who this keep on. Why? Yeah? Why? Because we keep it fun again. What I mean, the surnames are all, all mixed up. We all mad like Zola. Zola. So you wouldn't know. Zola. Yes. You. Oh, ne. <laughs> Incest. <laughs> incest. 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 Incest.
Ah, ah. Okay, so we'll get into the question of why, why you don't smoke weed. weed. Yes. Ish, that's eh, the scene. Eh, about the men about funny. About about the men about them. About about the men about them. Blazing in a club home man, cool and I. So I've always been accused of putting them in songs with young Sheila because in a measure of when they can get very yes. irritated. And this club home man, it's, yes. it's a condition of the eyes. Yes, and then Sheila da angas da belu ngoba fi ani nale isha Sheila pa lang Sheila ngoba zipa le isha Sheila zama chakaranda. So I have a season now, my eyes just go mad. Mm-hmm. Wow. And then like as as Miss Miss Sheila found out. I'm born as a Mbambi, the father. No, so I'm going to make a lot of money from Pisgah. So, so yeah, it's 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 a condition. But in Zangu, umtuano mnane, my petu is full. Bang a sizu. We are paying you so much money. Wow. Okay. And the same time, I know I'm cool and heavy. Yeah, Billy, so I pose this way on. So this whole trend thing, and Zaga man, you know, hemp can do this and stuff. Dala itu na da idin. Just at manje, it's being commercialized and it's looking funky, but it's it's always been there. Oh, wow. Mm. Inga amla azang is benefited from insango, so they would never make it legal. Mm. Azang is benefited from mkumbuti, so they never make it legal. Oh, man. Yeah. It is commercial sense. Because technically mkumbuti should be a fridge. A, 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 Now back to the sisters you were shaking. <laughs> <laughs> I love them though. I wasn't just saying. They were my girlfriends. I love them. I love them. But but Sophie, we should turn around. Remember, you're a new man now. That's when you were young. Yes. But I'm 36 now. I've been 25. I've been 24. 27. Yeah. 28. Yeah. 23. 21. Mm. I've had a life, guys. Mm. So yeah, we can discuss it. Yeah. Ah, say color. Yeah, forget. Okay. <laughs> I mean, does Man. the committee agree? Yeah, yeah we, we agree. forget. We forget. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Committee. Yes. Like, I didn't know. Like, <laughs> so I shouldn't be telling you. I mean, yes. But you, hey man, where do you go to find out that stuff, bro? The, he reads, bro. I read. I have an advantage. You guti. I've got a huge uh, family in Apa case. Then my grandfather was actually very open with information. Uh, be, be, he he parted everything that we needed to know before a vibe. So you got a family tree, a mad family tree. Let's hear your family tree, man. Yo 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 yo. So kulume neskelane, kulume MC ngai pomoroi, kulume nyukasele matate ni. Si kulume emati matolo, etulini, emabonvini wakopasha, wandugende, wakesubu swe marispeki. Those are the people that I know who exist out there. Some I know, some I'm yet to meet. Like one of them I've never met. My biological aunt. I know what some of you guys are so in my respect. So I'm gonna drive one of these days and 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 see her. I've already found my grandfather's uh, grave, but my like is in my father's father. Yes, yes. When he has an altar, the same thing. And then yeah, it trickles down to all of us, and then it passes down here to Ingos. It don't be a problem because now I know how to slaughter, I know how to do imbelego, and all of those things. It's complicated and very expensive. What's imbelego? Imbelego. Good question. Good in Bele was when uh, it's done roughly around about one year. Umdo ana maike took zala wepa you slaughter a goat for yena, and then you cut in well asake for the first time, which of course we as she salapana emdi lueni, and then the umbuzi agiwa. Then in yongo ya koni tanga ni sana mavo vobese we are telling umdo na ngayo base utkela ngai chartin. But literally in Bele was that thing you used to carry a baby with. Mm-hmm. So in the olden days they used to make it nyeskumba, which makes sense why they would call it in Bele. Huh. Yes. Then later on, Thomas and Michaela. Then when we move, but we move. There's other things that come home. It's 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 a it's a list of things. Huh. So that's when then it becomes easy for Josie guys to know. For an example, Uti, is that girl really her surname or not? Mm. Is does she have another dad? Is her dad really her dad? Mm-hmm. So the, the, all of those things there, because finally there's a kulunyom samo, then then you get clear because it becomes a mess if you have a child with her, and then next thing you wanna get married, and then and then the uncles on this side are like on some now, but the other people are cousins. Oh. It, it becomes Come complicated. You saying? I wasn't saying anything, but <laughs> don't, like, is it an irony or coincidence that imbelego sounds like umbilical? Umbilical. <laughs> 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 I'm being serious. I'm being serious. <laughs> 
No, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. But it's, it's, a, it's a really... Yeah, like, it's a, um, it's, really, it's, it's so umbilical. Right. Umbilical. Umbilical. It's umbilical. It's There's right. no way it's just an irony or coincidence. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah, it's like... It's so umbilical. Umbilical. It's so crazy. Like, I need all mankind came yeah. from Africa. Mm. The hands, I'm saying, it's yes. so crazy. It can't be a coincidence. That's why when you move further up, you'll find the Ute Egypt, they call the crocodile Gwena. <gasps> Do they? Yep. Yeah. Wow. Like Zulu. Zulu. <laughs> like it's, it's Zulu. The it's sky. Zulu. Yeah. And in Tanzania still. And in mm. a lot of uh, uh, Moses language, Shona, there's mm. a lot of words that are derived, like from Isul. Where, where do yeah, the vendors, where do we come from? The vendors. Yeah? The vendors. I don't know, my man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, now, there's only one thing I know. For a Zulu to be successful, you need a vendor on your corner. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm in down. In down. So can you be a friend of mine? Can you be a friend of mine? I need you on my corner. I know this. More than I'm friend down, I have your from five. So in down. So you need Lomonda. In down. In down. Yeah. Oh. So your musical gift, is that yeah. from your forefathers? It, Definitely from the forefathers. Because what I'm seeing are there. Yeah. You're a singer. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's it's singer. Uh, it, every everybody who considers themselves an artist has some kind of a spiritual gift. Bro. Yes. Bro. And they are usually uh, very observant. Like for an example, I want to our microphone last year, Kulum. We're projecting sound waves. <laughs> into people's apartments, wherever they are. Their private spaces. Yes, their private spaces, because they allow us to do that. Spaces so they have it, it make has love in, make babies in. We go there. Damn, chill. Hey, it was so divine. Hey. <laughs> I'm, I'm just accentuating what you're saying. Like, so in we'll go into people's spaces, private spaces. Yes. Our voices go there. Yes. Into, into where they feed their kids, where they consummate, do Serious things. Yeah, yeah. So we are... Hey, now, Shama, you can come out, man. Yeah, consummate. Ah, but I'm going to say, I'm going to say, So, like, apparently, we're talking about hip-hop, and the argument was, like, what is hip-hop? Mm -hmm. So... I, uh, I, I, I see people doing graffiti. I, I have a heavy background in hip-hop. That's hip-hop. Oh, I shout out to celebrate I, 50 years, eh? Hey. 50 years. And, 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 and okay. to mention Uzola, walking a pine I don't know if he's still in that house. He's got graffiti of Steve Biko. Oh. His, his house. Yeah. I used to drive the past a lot just to see his house, you know? Beautiful. He's got graffiti of leaders, Steve Biko, there and there. So what I was about to say was, before he continues, was I was telling him that, bro, you're one of the guys who put lyricism into Equite, because mm. before uh, the a verse was a catchy phrase and the chorus was the chorus, and that's the song. But he, honestly, before him, there was no one. What are you saying about Mdu? <laughs> Mdu didn't have the lyricism. <laughs> Mdu's a producer. Yo, yo, yo. Mdu is comes out of the Mdu. What comes out of the small is today, Mdu is comes out of the small. He's a producer, he's not a lyricist. And then Ngamcha and I live. Mengambon, he's not a lyricist, he's a producer. Do is a musical genius. Yes. Then came a lyricist in Guaito mm. that was always needed. And Zola was one of the first. Mm. And I can tell that he read a lot and has a lot of hip hop background in his music. Tupac the, vibes. Then that's where he asked me, what is hip hop? Mm. And I said, I don't know, but I can tell what hip hop did to me. All the puns people hear and stuff, it's from a hip hop background, which is funny. That guy did a, a whole documentary on battle Enzo. rap. Enzo. Yeah. And one of the best battle rappers in South Africa said, the person who changed my life, Enzo, the person who changed <laughs> my life is Sol Pandura. Wow. Because I got to school and I battled Chris and TB. But I know I was all about hip hop. Mm. You know what I mean? And I didn't even school him or mentor him, but him being around me changed his view on what hip hop is. And wow. So to me, hip hop changed my life and he asked me, what is hip hop? Mm. So that's what I wanted to ask him before he explained mm. hip hop to him. You see, when you go to, um, back to the city. Osmic. Shout out to Osmic. 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 Yeah. Osmic. Shout out. Osmic. 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 And watch them while they're still preparing and spraying and stuff. People, but I'm stalls, la Pana, Balungi Sikaulo, Gunim Pasha, somebody's doing art there. That's all hip hop. 
Hmm. There's, there's, there's poetry, there's lyrics, there's clothing, dance. There's, there's dance. It's it's conversation. It's all of that. Oh, yeah, it, it it's it's a it's a lot of things. That's why a lot of kids, and my parents, Abba, Abba, understand it because they are hip hop. So when you're trying to explain this as a kid to your mom, they they don't get you. Uh, until one day you end up in a studio and you come back and you prove it to your mom at age 14. This is what I do. This is my world. This is what I belong in. I mean, I will always be a Soweto. I'll always be a Soweto. But I had to get out. That's hip hop. Mm. I had to find other people, other races and other cultures so that I, I can become complete myself. I mean, I had to get out. That's hip hop. So now I gotta do my things. Yeah. That's hip hop. No, for real. I've been, I've been looking at something. Anglicans, my she's at up, but that thing mm. that they. Mm, mm, and then us black people are upon again now, as she see, we're doing all these things. But white people actually do these things, mm. these rituals that we started and did. Because the reason why I'm asking you that, I listened to a young stunner. Do you know young stunner? Mm-hmm. And I listened to his lyrics. I'm like, he's so young. But, but the shit he says, it's like, there's no way this is him. Beyond bro. What he's gifted beyond. But remember Pro Kid when he was young? Mm. Hey. Same story. Yeah. Mm. He could put anybody to bed mm. any given time. Hi. And man, I go to Slack, it's, it's quiet. Because I'm a one that draw work, Pella, and I bleed. And I just oh. drive off. I'm like, oh. It's because of piano. Piano is here. Let the piano be, Baba. But every generation has got a story. <laughs> but yeah, not we told ours. Because within piano, there's young Stana who used to be a rapper and he came from that school of hip hop. So there's hip hop with elements of it and traces of it within piano. A lot of the piano guys who sing on piano were rappers before. Yeah. A lot of guys who make piano beats were rap, were, were, were hip hop makers. And most of them yeah. make uh, hip hop uh, beats. Uh, from church as well. Yeah. Like, like, uh, what's his name? Mass music. All of them, all of them are from Chicago. All of them play piano. Uh, Sunduini. Like, that's where they learn the theory of piano. Like the, the yeah. actual instrument. The vile hip hop is sick. They, 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 I featured one. They've, they've got their whole own thing happening at Ival uh, hip hop scene, which I feel would uh, somebody should make noise about it. So mm. I took Oiwan and Amfara and Ambenyam. Mm. Just to prove with this, there's a world that exists in Abanta by Bone. I'm told. And I always tell this boy, my boss, I give me, Niti, okay, fine. Now, so you're done with your English song. So, but what are you? Um, su, tu, um, su, lor, um, mm, mm, mm. And they're like, no, um, cause. I'm like, okay, N- guy 16 has cause. I, I need to. Mm. And then I'm like, do you have any idea how nice you sound and how convincing you are as cause as again? I'm not saying don't do this. But in Kayang is Kosa. Because I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Zulu. Yeah, uh, light Zulu, Kasi Zulu, and really hardcore Zulu. So they, they know how to run in a suit and stuff. They just, they're not, they're not sure. Mm. Problem. But Pro Kid laid out the blueprint. Aye. He laid it out. Pro that kid. you can hit a metaphor, a pun. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's Pro Kid. Like, he, he, he set up that, that. And I thought after him, there would be more. And yeah. there was Cuesta, a lot of kids. So it's sad that there's kids who still. Don't but embrace what, that side. What was the climate when you didn't remember? Mm-hmm. What was going on, yeah. like, in, music-wise that time? Nigga, I was hungry. Yeah. Mm. Rent was due. People thought I was hot with a six-pack. I was bloody hungry. I just needed lunch to feed me. Upega lang flat. Then to me hot. Fuck that! Ang lambele! Kanenje la ponche aktor. But I uh, hear you are here with Varumboni TV, Ulana. Hey, my daughter, now it's his friend, Alabana. Everybody's here. Now we live with my Like, wow, it's finally happening. But, you know, like most things that have happened in my life before that, I'm probably expecting somebody to say, Bogu is mm. And it's a dream. Mm-hmm. And it, there it is, it's happening. And then all of a sudden, now I'm considered among the best lyricists in South Africa, and I'm traveling all of these places. I don't who she is to be specific. Because I didn't be here. I want to suit your metric dance. And you know for a fact that your 21st is coming, but there's not, there's not going to be a 21st birthday party. Mm. I'm from that life. Oh. And all of a sudden, I can take all my cousins to varsity. 
Mm. First album. I can oh. do I'm a 21st for all of them. Hmm. You know, I've got vast graduates all of a sudden. You know, jump a stick. Hey, I'm going to you change your car. You can't do it. So it's all, it's all of those things that are happening with the first album. And I'm looking cool on the street. They were all pre owned cars. I look for a car brand new, a 300 Z Hemi. Oh, All the other ones, I just knew how to make them look nice. Because mm. half is in easy in And all of them basically within the first album. I think that's very important for some people to know. How, how were you guys making money at the time? Because now it's streams and whatnot. Um your album cover? <laughs> right. <laughs> so in let me see fast. Final, 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 the waters of immortality. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> Our album cover on Canva, and so has been having on me Canva. Why, why yeah. Oh, so you just accepted? It's a beautiful album and an injustice of an album cover. <laughs> no, he did, he said he did it thing? on Canva. He made it that thing on Canva. No, but it's fine. Continue. Go <laughs> oh, on, Pramzo. <laughs> it's 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 put DJ fresh, ne? Beganga must figure we industry. We industry mm. because you couldn't be a skinny DJ. Hmm. But part of my crate, it's old. Mm-hmm. If you're a teacher, you were even in my crate. Name to another side that ran around. So you needed to be like a good teacher, fresh. They get out of there. They are coming to from my country and non-stop la payan. You know, fast song after song. So it started that. But the vinyls were bought in Zimbabwe and wow, and Holland, I think. Mm. So we before Stroppy album, you need like five thousand vinyls and give them all to teachers. And about five thousand cassettes, give them all to teachers. Basse kasi. Um, then one get city. Mm-hmm. So, and then there was, I don't know what happened. There was a culture of, um, I'm a poster. Mm. So they'd give you a packing like I'm a poster and you, you would sign practically the whole day. Mm. I'm a poster and give them to people. So mm. there's a lot of work involved with the first album back in those days. You're just literally traveling to go and sign up my posters. Thank God. Back then, this thing called, a selfie doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> <laughs> Are you traumatized by selfies now? Yeah. Hey. And then on my to shoot him out here. We have fire. Hey. Oh, okay. Bring this up talk, I'm talking about. Go on, go. The human touch is gone, as cool man. Mm-hmm. But it, there was that, it was, and then, then you have to go to SABC would make us shoot a lot of um, episodes, um, um, and then they would send us out into the country and say, okay, fine, you guys are going to travel the country because people need to see you and touch you and feel you. Mm-hmm. Young daughter, like they, they, they real you go to Mundo Pilar. Yeah. Not on the phone. Not not the phone celebrity mm, kind mm. of a thing. So that 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 required a lot of work and it required a shitload of breakups. Huh. And there's so many phony celebrities now. Hey, it's <laughs> their era. Ah, man, you're gonna. So I'm gonna phone you, pay. So you were making money via gigs. Yeah, gigs. And the CDs were selling as well. The boots. Gonja yini, yini ponet or put in, which one is real? It's it's a boot. Boot. It's a the boot. They were always, I've always got drunk. You don't get a minyak. They were always full of vinyls and cassettes. So wherever you go, you just have istogosak or lesser to sell to people and then get that man. So on a flop your petrol, I bet then you drink like a cheaper huh. for a full tank. Mm. Yeah, wow. uh, yeah. And then there's these companies that are dressing us. Like, okay, fine. Okay, go okay. So it is cool man now because he seems to be interested in certain boots. He does not seem to be wearing certain takeies that are associated with Kwaito. Young know? So those companies. So my promo to me. However they dress, don't be fooled by the fact that maybe 
they bought those clothes sure. or whatever they drinking you think that they bought it no it's not necessarily uma figure also buy bottle la la no those clean and all so tina into this is tola mahala and is buy so it was also that then the basic traveling and knowing the country tola mahala le ah shy and fun yeah she and then knowing the country for the first time je which is keep on south africa so city sales in glenbe how much did it sell Let's do calculations. Let's do calculations here. I think I'm gonna number it out. How much did Mr. Limbe sell? It's 083-988-591. <laughs> oh, ah. you had a glance at Lance's numbers there. Gosia! <laughs> I still know it <laughs> by heart. <laughs> <laughs> no man, I seriously want to know how much you guys were making, man. Okay, so uh, man, I all I know guti usis prenda my dropper. Everybody will just have to back off. So Those okay. Albums, so you, you don't sales. you don't want to tell us how much Mzembe uh, sold. It's, it's still selling, so I don't know. Okay, mm. do not let's do let's do sis prenda then. So sis prenda drops, how much units would she do? In a week, eh? oh, yo, 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 a week. Yo, How much? So three hundred, three hundred fifty. Okay, three hundred fifty thousand. Yeah. Eh? yeah. Oh, All right, yeah. cool. Let's do three hundred fifty thousand. Already there. That's a lot. Times by how much is one album? Back then, mm. five tag. 50 times by 50 okay or how much is the label selling it to the reseller because when we get it at 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 music warehouse or music uh, it's already marked up so how much that's nobody... 17.5 million hmm. probably oh in the first week hmm. oh my goodness lots of money you guys labels. were making money record labels were making Bro, money do you, know, do you know how much you need streams now to make a million oh uh, it's stream uh, streams dreams. <laughs> But that money went to China <laughs> because the Chinese came. They were the first people to sell straight up on the street in a tafula ganje bootleg stuff, and they couldn't be arrested. Seventeen mm. million one week. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So, like near Tuga, when I um, I hear two, three years back, some of the greatest musicians in this country uh, saying that they broke, mm. like. Uh, one particular lady that we had in every car, every mkuku, mm. every, everywhere, and then then you hear Uguti. Uh, the Sahara, the one that's so she's broke. I I I zang is a yens a sense again. In fact, some anga la song because we thought Uguti had long time as bowling. So then, yeah. how much are you booking for gigs? How much are you charging at the time? Now, I mean, men men no kuluma nam. No, no, I'm saying at the time. At that time, back then, time, yeah. Back then there were a lot of uh, funny things because uh, you, you you didn't really know. Sometimes you'd have a fight with an organizer and then the organizer would say something like, "Yeah, for somebody I'm paying 60,000. Oh, yeah, how dare mention, you yeah, arrive yeah, late, yeah, Lana?" Yeah, yeah. He mentioned it. Yeah. That's how you found out your Yeah, that's how yeah. yeah, 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 in, in yeah. the first interview. That's just one kick but akona ma kick government kona corporate kona ma kick ama chita our our fan I'm so when and je man pele so no itu an keke bulam na man ngpuk I say an qibla ka man pele in the book Yeah I mean since you are what are in your mind Yeah What do you think about the industry now from your eyes what are you seeing Okay first of all I think that I think the public needs to be honest. Let's try to buy a music or honest or straight. But the public no longer knows where to find that music because most of these uh, companies that we're selling have ever since closed down. I'm told so I want to buy a stream and stuff but bina bantu basafuna ma CD for real. Yeah. If I got a cassette gas ban ban I'd like to just keep it in a frame maybe one day. People no longer know where to find those things. So uh, then eventually um music or or fake then literally took over South Africa. Do you think so? Yeah, then it became very difficult uh, for us to So by the time but the artists really broke and stuff, you know, we're just chilling then thinking ah, this person by this week should be sitting on 20 million. So <laughs> next oh, week so. should have been for over 40 million, but now but we broke. Yeah. Over repossessing motor and stuff. That, that's how bad it gets like we by next thing sheriff who say akhuluma ngekari yakho say akhuluma ngendlu yakho. And then and then people laugh about it mm, but mm. it's it's a it's a serious business and also the fact to go i'm not going to necessarily spend that money game 
Yang Chol. I might decide, uh, let me spend 10 million there and solve that problem. Mm. Or maybe commission that Zola 7. So traditionally, some of that money has to go back to the communities that we come from. So Fana no goes to Glenyawen most of the time. But how do you know how to handle the money? Because we make us now all of a sudden 20, 10 million a week. I can be in Paisa, my court, and I was a bad man. Paisa, my court, and 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 Mm. I made a few mistakes now, you know, I tried. You're there, human, there were things I wanted. You're <laughs> human, bro. You're human. At the end of the day, you're human, bro. The, the, the SIM card deal, what, what, what was the deal there? Yo, 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 yo. That was, that was revolutionary, by the way. Oh, the SIM card. The SIM you card. You started the yeah. SIM card. I've yeah, never yeah. seen something like that. The SIM card deal was absolutely amazing because what we, we, we gave the first ones for free mm. uh, to the public. Uh, and then we decided to go to see Pukyama artist Wonke across the country. Uh, and then we decided to travel with them and pay them well and pay them direct. So it was very wow. difficult for us to pay a record label. We wanted to pay uh, Ama, artist. Ama artist direct. And then we did a lot of projects uh, in the communities that we were associated with. Bro, at the height of your career, how, how famous were you, man? Like Zola. I don't Zola. think we've ever had Crossfire anyone as Zola. as you, oh. How, how famous were you? Crossfire. You it's made like, a, a cop make famous. You made the crossfire. You, you put them on. It's like, who was Uchi? How high was the cross? <laughs> Yo. Best I view. But yeah, it was. It was <laughs> but you see, like, you could walk a, a Yovel. You could walk a, a, a Times Square. Uh, with no problems. Nowadays, I don't know whether it's crime or other things, but you literally, it would be very difficult to say, Nya Walker, and say your veil. When's I know your phone? Because you know your Remember, oh, okay. Re remember Zwai. <laughs> yeah. Even about Zwai, remember they said they were ro uh, at Rocky Street in Yeovil. Yes. They could just walk. Yeah, they could. They were, they were not Zola 7. I found but they weren't selfies. It was not the age of selfies. I found it. it oh, you're selfie. crossfire. Yeah. Hey! He found it. You made no, you literally, I, I knew that car from you. Yes. People were like, what's on the hammer crossfire? I'm like, what the fuck is a crossfire? <laughs> and I saw it, it's this Chrysler that's hatchback and arched at the back. And I'm like, yo, no, but the whole look. idea was to give it to one person. And Let me, my please so I shook hands with the gentleman who won it and I said, Wow, if you want to get rid of it, get it back to me. So he called me last week after mm. all these years. Wow. Zola this seven. is your crossfire now. The exact it's, one. Wow. Zola seven. So this guy who won it. Yes, that's the guy who won it. Zola seven. Wow, man. Because yes. you made this car famous. Like crossfire. We don't know. What for Nelis Patala, Nevon? No. What for Nelis Kafa? No, Austria. You didn't answer school. my question, bro. No, yes, sir. Are, for I, I want to know, bro. Like, I don't think there's ever been a celebrity that has been as famous as you when you were. Dropping you are the definition of superstar. Bro, yeah. bro, I just want to understand what it was like for you at that time. At the peak of superstardom. Yeah. I wanted I wanted more. Uh, there's 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 um music and there's there's television and and there's clothing, there's I'm a documentary, and then next thing I'm producing, next thing I'm executive producing. And I want to see how far you can stretch yourself as a person wow. uh, within the same industry that, that that you are in. And all of these things need serious financing. Uh, and then um, you need people who went to school for those things. Ma, ma, ma also shoot the production. You need everybody who went to where after, basically, to join you. You need an accountant. You need a lawyer. So there's a lot of people you need to pay just to have that one dream. And that also requires a great deal of being brave. If you want to do things that haven't been done before. So at no point you'd wake up and be like, I'm the fucking shit. Yeah, you 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 do that alone in the shower. More plumera I shower and you say that, you know, more people say pam go speedy, you say that. But in the public, it's like it's it's scary in the public. You know? yeah. how, how people talk to you. If it's scary even when I still I still look ganje and look at 25,000 people before I get on stage. And I'm like, how the hell am I gonna do this? Hmm. It's 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 very scary. So I has no more Shuma Kana who said, um, um you, you need to be afraid of your of your craft if you're gonna master it. Woo! 
Yeah. Some bro, it's like road to one million. Yes. Yeah. When you go on stage, it's yes. like, there's like 8,000 people oh, that are just watching wow. you. Yeah. It's just like, what the fuck have I done? Yeah, Why am I there? <laughs> I shouldn't be here. And at that time, when you were big, there was no one, there was not another Zola you could call to say, how do I navigate this? Bro, you're what all you on mean, your own. What do you mean, where? Hey, I'm fine. Mm. <laughs> What do you mean where? No, I'm saying with you, when you were... You talk to me in past tense when I'm fine. No, I'm saying... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying I'm at that time... Up, like, oh, at that time, the, yeah. you can't call another Zola. There's no say, reference. Hey, there's you no reference. Are You're the first. going on uncharted grounds. Yes. Yo. Yeah, but I mean, in South Africa, she in um, uh, uh, we are, we are, we're getting in touch really with uh, being black, this whole concept of being free, all of these things are happening at once. Is South Africa is trusting you to go and talk to their youth and yet yourself, you are young yourself. And they're the giving youth. you, a, yeah, they're giving you a chance to, 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 it's all scary and it's all extremely big. Especially Zola 7, I feel Luguti, we should have, Maybe every six months, all of us go for counseling. Yeah. It was emotionally passionate. Wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. You didn't have counseling? No. Because you're dealing with people's baggage. Like, literally, Mac, he's not on social media. I'm on. Mm -hmm. Every day, you're getting someone telling you that, Angna Yes. Angna next. And so I'm next. And the, the thing is, you can't help everyone because mm -hmm. you'll be left with nothing. I can't mm -hmm. send 300 bucks to everyone for electricity. Now, you're dealing with that and you're not getting counseling. You're getting, you're inundated with people's problems. They're all putting them on your laps and, yeah. and on your shoulders. You didn't get counseling? No, 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 no. We didn't get counseling. It was just you. You were happy if you end up, ended up in a chalet somewhere. Now, when I say a shooter, you just in some some reserve somewhere. Maybe you've got one day of just chilling na machita and 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 reflect. But I really, really feel which there's a lot of people in this industry who should go for some kind of counseling. Mm. Be it their musicians or TV presenters or, or, or radio and stuff. It's, need, it's needed. It's yeah. A, it's a requirement. Talk to him. <laughs> I'm sure. No, it makes you someone. There's no ways. What is that going on? Go consult that's all I said. We'll send you the address. So, yeah, it, 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 it can be emotionally. Um, uh, Tataka was emotionally passionate. Hmm. Because da utilanga masazo pele, bro. You you you. The, bro. I mean, there are things we we cannot show on TV. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we we need to. Sometimes we'll, we'll give give you ten percent. I man. I answer answer. Uban. Oh wifey wifey. Oh the one who didn't see the picture. Eh, enda bar men. Kunjan mama. Forget it. Let's speak. Kunjan mama. Yes, baby. Ninja. Hi. All right. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm. Amen. Hey man, you sound like you got a good wife. Yeah, she sounds hardcore Zulu. You are glad she said. Hey, hey. the man. Someone, a mama. What's that, man? Such a baby. Me up here, lama unjan. <laughs> you know, you sound like something like oh, oh, so you can hear that is well read, is traditional. You sound like the perfect African wife. Oh, like exactly. you see, you, you've just Bye. hit every man right now. You've hit every man in his heart, <laughs> in his most sensitive spot. And yeah, you sound like the woman for Zola. No, he raises you. Like when he spoke about you and he said, uh, what did he say? There was nothing wrong with him. He just eventually found the one. Mm. So you the, you know, the the the, the cure, um, the antidote. Um, the ah. 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 What is it? Ah. <laughs> yeah, no, mama. Uh, eh, yeah, you sound amazing. He's a, he's a, he's a lucky man. So much. He's a lucky like man, he is, and yeah, yeah, nah, 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 guys, <laughs> nibe happy, man, nibe happy. I'm gonna give him the phone now. So I was just checking 
Listen to that. Oh. Listen to that. Wait, he said Just he's eating you. Is, it, is that true? He said he's eating you. Oh. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> Make you tell a combo is a turn away this month. Is a grand effect. Not to say as Funela, you know. Yeah? Pardon, sorry, I must dead. When did Zola meet you? Okay, I'm okay. Not to say, I'm okay. Fuck, Ivan. I'm okay. 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 Uh, you are. I have a good one. Is all right? Hey, no, 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 no. I'm supposed to be hardcore. I tune dating. <laughs> no, I tune. I have a good one, man. Let's want to see the soft side of me. Fuck that. Don't go in there. Hey, Nina. Hi. Hey. Welcome back. Shut up. I'm not done yet. Hey, Nina. Wrong intentions. Let's talk about the documentary, man. Sunday. 6 p.m. What can people look forward to, man? <coughs> yeah. Let the public be the judge of it. Mm. Because the man is Paris. Uh, Enzo, uh, please give the mic to Enzo. Enzo, please yes. uh, explain to us how you get a deal like that with uh, ACBC. Because a lot of people are doing documentaries now, eh? A lot. The yeah. Kalawa yep. one just dropped as well. Mm. Are, we, are we on? Yeah. 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 Yeah, Are what's up? What's up? Yeah, hey, hey. I, I just been wanting to share this whole life. You can tell. Yo, I want. You want to do a podcast and share? What's up? Are we on? Are we on? Are we on? This is his entire life. Looked up to this moment. Are we on? <laughs> yeah, what's up? As, as, as black creatives, it's important to understand how do we navigate? How do we get a documentary on SABC, bro? Yeah. Uh, there's there's different ways to get a documentary on SABC. Number one, you can write a proposal for them to commission it. So you come up with your concept, you, a synopsis, uh, duration. If it's a docu-series, you say the amount of uh, episodes that you have. You pitch it to them. If they like it, they commission it, right? Or you can use your cameras or partner up with a production company, shoot it yourself, and then you also go there and you say, I've done a documentary, it's this length, are you guys interested? Then the, obviously they've got a channel, channel views it, if they're interested, they come back to you and they say, we're interested in uh, licensing the podcast and chill documentary, mm. here's a licensing fee, are you happy? If you're happy with the fee, then you license it. Mm. But I personally prefer the licensing route as opposed to the commissioning route. Because mm. commissioning, and a lot of people don't understand it, it means the channel owns it. Oh. You oh. get what I mean? And we don't want that. Yes, you know, they'll uh, give yeah, you... you don't have ownership. You yeah, they'll, ownership they'll, they'll, they'll give you a nice check. You know, they'll give you a nice check. Here's your million. But that means that postcard, podcast and chill documentary... So you can't is, take it to Netflix. Yes, Max. they can take it to Netflix. And I mean, I was having a conversation with Zola the other day. He shot Hizo Hizo Imagine in 1999. <laughs> Yo! Right? Shit. And, and, and Netflix just took or yes. licensed it to... Uh, SABC just licensed it to Netflix. Okay. He didn't even get a call or he might not even make a cent. Yeah, but that is the yeah, disadvantage yeah, of commissioning, sense. right? But that's why I choose the licensing route. Because licensing, we shoot it ourselves. Right now, we've partnered with uh, Kuluva Entertainment. Shut which out, means, shut he, out, shut you know what I mean? He, he owns half of the documentary. Wow. So that means even in 50 years time, Zola's grandkids, Enzo's grandkids are going to be living or eating off of this product. Mm. And I've done the same thing with other artists as well. You know, the likes wow. of Brown Dash, the likes of Mapaputi, uh, the Pro Kid Danki San documentary that we did in 2020. His, his daughter is literally going to be eating off that wow. even for generations to come. Beautiful. So licensing is empowering. And as black creatives, I would vouch for us to go the licensing route. It's not easy. I'll, I'll be honest. Okay. And even some industry guys tell me that, yo, Enzo, the route you took Mm. We, we look at you from afar and we adore you but it's not an easy one because that means you have to take up the load of shooting it mm. I mean I hunted this man down for years so when you ask me that how long it took me and as he said you know there was a time where he was not feeling well mm. 
Mm. Yeah. We had to put things on hold a bit, you know, until he, yeah. he eventually felt like he's himself again. And then we had to co uh, continue with production. But that is the risk you take with licensing. But the reward is, is greater. And if you think future and if you think generation and if you think generational wealth and you think uh, ownership, I would vouch for the licensing route. It's high risk, mm. high reward. Yes. Mm. Yeah, 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 you have Don't to pay. Don't talking the... to these cats about money. No, Even but we need to talk ideas. money. No, do don't. We need we need to talk money, and and as black Sorry. people we shouldn't be afraid of talking about money. We need to. Yes. <laughs> we need um, to. That's the important thing. Like, uh, but I know Cabo Brown Dash. I know the whole family. Wow, man. I know Cabo Mendoza. Hey, um, Dosi. I know Cabo Bricks. Mm. Hey. And uh, some people have passed on, so in the by intellectual property. Is here with my family. It beneficial with my families. Mm. Depending on what my families are, to for an example, they know which door to knock on. Should I pass on? Mm. Mm. Do they even know what is Sam or Eva? Mm. And mm. all of those things are politics. That because the 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 money that we make is supposed to be e e fund a season. E trust fund. It's supposed mm. to go on forever. Mm. So that's this is the route that we are taking, and it's. It's hard. Mm. It's a very difficult route. Uh, some of the people that you guys have in the documentary, they've got uh, KB, Mags, Khauza, Sea Live, Proverb, uh, Miss Super, Rashid, Max Harbour, TTP, Lebza, Amu, Amu Yes! Oh, yes. Uh, OG, yeah. Yes! <laughs> Yo! Uh, you got PH Raw, Tody Mac, and DJ Lamonka. Will somebody please put... Mugs in the studio. Bro, how come we haven't had mugs? We have, man. What are you talking about? We've had mugs. Which podcast are you watching? Was I there? Yeah. Hey. Hey, hey. That's, For real. That's oh, one more rapper, yeah, Baba. Yeah. Thank you, eh? We need to hear more of mugs. Mugs, wherever you are, Baba. You owe this country. We need uh, mugs. Come yeah. out of the cupboard, bro. New cats, who are you fucking with? I'm <laughs> Tavo Shovel. Golden Shovel? Yeah. Golden Shovel. <laughs> yeah, from the vault. He's a rapper. The I'm rap. a hip hop boy. I've got a song called Seven Colors. He, he's on it. Golden Shovel is yeah. one of, is an amazing rapper. From way back. Mm -hmm. Is he better than Maglera dope, dope Boy? Yes. He was part of um, Optical Illusion. Ah. Do you know who was in Optical Illusion? They were his baby mama. Baby daddy. No, that's, 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 um... Ba, 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 ba. One, two, one, two, two one, hot two, and stuff. That's Cape Town guys and stuff. Ba, 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 he, ba, ba, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot the two. name. Yeah. Catch the Society. Society. Yes. Yeah. No, Golden Shovel was in the same group as Geno, who did uh, YFM things. Oh, Geno. Geno. Yeah, you know what Geno come from? Yeah. The name. Genocide. Ah. His name was Genocide. It was a rapper. They were part of a collective called Optical Illusion. Logic, Geno, Golden Shovel. Wow. And Battle Cat was the producer. Yeah. Hip hop. He's he, cooking. He, he's he, cooking. He improves your life. schooled in hip hop, eh? <laughs> <laughs> but like proper, yeah, proper. Yeah, goes, right? yeah. So call him Shuffle, man. He yeah. never gets his flowers. <laughs> Found him. Wow. He's in wow. a song called Seven Colors. Then wow. Yeah. What are we busy with, uh, Khurtis? Right uh, now? Well, man, and, Talena, and the album is done. But each time I wake up in the morning, there's another song that now is, is being born from the universe. I need to find the studio. So I, I don't know how many songs I have now. So what I wanted to do is that we're just going to have a couple of drinks. We're going to listen to all 60 of them and decide which ones go into the album. Do, do you get songs from the ancestors? Like you just put it and you don't even remember doing the song. I just get on the microphone and I just rhyme, depending on the mood. It's usually if we are feeling each other in the studio and the energy is good, that song will just arrive. Huh. And then and then we, which is good, we're saving trees. Mm. <laughs> It's good. Cool. Yeah. It's but, good because we are saving trees. Mm, mm, mm. And then there are songs that we write, and sometimes I'll just take beats, like when I'm driving, say, to a Teben or a Musina, I'll just play those beats, repeat a Karini, and then um, I'll come as a song. There's a lot of uh, amazing young producers, by the way. Mm. Uh, young cats, unknown, mm. which uh, I think they're gonna pretty much have a status about us and about KB. Mm. It's, wow. it's 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 on the way because we also need to give them the attention. Because unfortunately, in this country, going to 
Yo me pongo Film school and music school is, has gone extremely expensive. Mm. So, angas de intuana les es ingao guti zizo pele lapi. Ma o fuli ke iti kone wane menga pande la pana guam. And do you write uh, your lyrics or it's just just? They just. That's crazy. They just they just show up. I'm sure mang puma la ngoba ni apeta. We fuli ke iti nseng nengo. Please, ghost lady, uh, you got a question for Khrutis here? Um, I, you know what I was curious about Zula, since you began, ne? Mm-hmm. Ubune, lam, your earrings, your choice of earrings. Pla, these are labeled ama hoops. What kept you uguti unga change your style till now? These ones are from high school, by the way. Yeah. Lao lao. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, but I'm on getting a cultural scent. Uh huh. Kuni tepi says the shower guy jinga pack ne naf naf. Yeah. Naf naf. So that's a cartoon set. I get to you now. Yeah. Oh, naf naf. Hip hop way. Oh, naf naf. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. On the oh, yeah. side. Yeah. Opposite the Opposite cinema. cinema. Yeah. 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 Naf naf. With the with the dada dream outfit and the chain clothes. Anyway, my wife like eight piece. There's an old Indian shop that's there that sells sells everything silver. Mm. Wow. Yes, that's where I, I used to get my earrings. Wow. Uh, back in the days of high school, so I kept these. So I said, "Zulu, come talk to our guy and don't bother." We buy we have this table match every time. Yeah, la olenga. Yes, or we are tambuza. So it's 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 part very spiritual. Um, also. We 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 function better with certain metals, mm. copper, gold, mm. platinum, silver. They gravitate us, which most people don't no longer know. This is a knowledge that is lost. Mm. So we need to we need to wear bling. Mm. We have to. Mm. It's ancestral and it's very deep and it's very gravity based. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay, at that time I got no bling. I feel bad. Oh, where's your Rolex? Where's your Rolex? Wow, no Rolex, my guy. I mean, like if you check all the 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 the, the pharaohs that have been exhumed, we don't know why, but they are all blinged up. Americans. Yes, yeah. Americans. But we about clogging my chain. It's it's it's. Okay. Yeah, it's it's all round up our gravity <laughs> and and who we are as a people. But, but yeah. generally, yeah. we look down on it as an important. Yeah, but about Moshi Mali. That's how it's normally looked at. That's that's how they sold it so that um, less and less of they they're no longer black. They belong to Abanya Bantu. That's how they also sold the diamond ring because the, the, the diamonds were not moving. So they they made an ad that said diamonds are forever, mm. and they, actually it was made in South Africa that ad, right? And then it started She's rolling great. all over the world. No and then so you, you shouldn't be under pressure. We'll tell it time, Manuel. Tell it later on. But that thing came as an ad. Mm. And Wedding band. It came from South Africa, and the family that practically has a monopoly on diamonds all over the world is South African. Yeah. The Oppenheimers Open have like literally a monopoly because diamonds are not as rare as they're made to seem. They're not. They're just a product of very good marketing, mm-hmm. and they market the diamonds as something super rare. Mm-hmm. Diamonds are not rare, mm-hmm. and they have a monopoly on them. The Oppenheimers and that advert. You, you can't make waste. them rare if you. Take them out of the market as many as possible. And that's what the then family make did. Them that's their business model, the Oppenheimers. Oh. They do the same thing with milk, by the way. Milk. Whoa. There's a shitload of milk in this country. But they make it rare. Hmm. Just for you. Who are we then voting next like year? To look yeah? Who are we voting next year? Bees. Bees. Voting? Who are we voting next year? Next year? Yeah. I'm running, bro. Zola Pat! Zola Pat is running! Zola Pat is running! Please say that's true. My slogan is about the bank. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm, I'm running about. next year, you know? You're lying, right? I'm going to patch it. He's running, it's he's not lying. He's he plan, on his feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the 20 meters ZZ court is going to run. You'll never get 20 meters from ZZ and run against ZZ. ZZ, ZZ, ZZ. ZZ, ZZ, ZZ. Listen, man, I, I, I meet a lot of piano cats. Um, yeah. uh, there's these guys, uh, Amaroto. Uh, I met... Um, Zuma, no. Who's the other one? What's oh. Zuma? Riz, Riz Makisa. Riz Makisa. Yeah, I met Riz. Mm-hmm. So I met a club there with Riz. And he's like, yo, bro, I really love the podcast. And you need to do more interviews with like 
you know, we had just done a Mapaputsi interview. You need Spikiri. Yeah, bro, with I the want the old t-shirt legends, wearing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You need Spikiri. Because it's like, it teaches us in the coffin. of what to do and what not to do. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So for young cats that are fucking shit up with piano, because piano has just gone global bro. right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What advice would you give them? Well, I mean, it's the same thing we've been talking about, too, good, you know, careful of your intellectual property. No, good, you own it, it's yours. But I, I feel this generation has got every right uh, to tell their story, a bit drama piano or required or it grown, you know, because we have a story. Everybody has a story to tell. There'll be something else after my piano. I'm <laughs> <laughs> We don't know. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, they, they should really, really, really take the business of 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 ama piano serious, because it's not just about dancing la piana and gyrating and it, there's there's the serious business of it. And if you don't do the serious business of la ma piano, somebody else will do it for you, and that person will take the lion's share. So, abantu banga funu keleza skolwen fundama notes. They can't be on TV. They can't be news readers. Therefore, they can't be famous. But the people who want to work seni, man, mukulu mango lien, skata vuganga sano saki na people don't want to wake up at that time. Then they can't be on radio. Lien manes, yeah, window. So, so they they have to know that at the end of the day, maskleta la we are businessmen and we do serious business. So if Bazoi owner completely, they have to know the business side of it as much as as possible. It's it's safe to have a bank and about my lawyer and a bank and a bank accountant and and all, and put them all together. Other things can get pro bono, but also two lunch and pair like a a TV. Um, not give it a stage or rock band. Um, you'll get to a time where you have to know how much is a microwave, mm. how much is a fridge, how much is a deep freezer, and. Oh, I mean, I didn't know Mang Fia would go to grocery and toilet. I didn't know. Yay! Go to grocery and toilet. I know. Mama Kyle. Hey! But let me do. Hey, what day you gonna wake up and say I want to own a dog, and then you have to buy a house? Because now you want to uh, walk in the garden next thing like I doing a drill truck. So you need a puppy. But I got my you puppy from Crown Dash, by the way. Mm-hmm. I'm Tatela, you know, because he was living in a townhouse. Oh, for mm-hmm. real? And I already had a house. Mm-hmm. So I was on Tatela, you Yeah. Enjoy. Yeah, enjoy. So, so there's, 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 it, it, it can't be for now. It, 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 it must it must last. It must last beyond. Yeah. It yeah. must go. It must be able to stretch it. So, because this is their generation. And they, uh, the, okay, for Labatala Pananga Wambaya, as my gate is open, they come and they talk to me and, and I tell them this. And Bangbula Lango case, by the way, it's Otsam. Studio Samsian Kawat. Yeah, Mara, we, we sit and we talk and we listen to, I listen to the ideas that they have. Mm. Wow. It's very important for for somebody young to be, and I think I'm saying this too, Abuntang Abam Nabenu Yapezu, important for somebody young to be listened to. Because they're so full of energy. And if you don't help them to disperse it, they want to find other ways to disperse that energy. Enter the demon of drugs and other things. Very Crime. important. Yeah. Hijacking us and the robots. We need to listen to them. And also very important, Maushai Habli Babli. We keep it riding. <laughs> I've got one question and one suggestion. Bro, you have so much knowledge. You're a reservoir of knowledge. Like, start a podcast. Out. Start a podcast. Yeah. yeah. Like, I would tune yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, I would tune You in. have so much. Like, there's in. so many fucking people starting podcasts who have nothing to tell us. Mm. You know what I mean? Copycats. Yeah. Nothing. They just want to be Mac G. They're like, if Mac can do it, I can do it. He's, he's fucking short. He's putting, <laughs> he's fucking putting fingerprints on his album cover. Yeah. I can do better. And then they start podcasts. Bro, I'm... you have so much knowledge. <laughs> like, you could do a book review alone. And I would listen to that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Please. Who, start who's a listening to a Zola Seven I podcast? Like, can you please start a podcast, bro? Oh, There's so many things you've never said something. in your lyrics that you need to just share. There's no money, but mind. you know. There's the, no money. Eventually, nah. no, there's money eventually. <laughs> you mustn't lie to you. There's so many things from your mind <laughs> that the young black kid or the young kid who's open-minded just needs to hear. 
please start a podcast. I can and see I've been exclusive to that. books already, just you know, jumping like, in. Exclusive already, bro. Already. You're so knowledgeable, and you. I mean, book to have, uh, quite a guy to have bam, a Bambata song. It's like what Bambata. Bambata mm. And you, you're you a quieter guy You did that So please start a podcast man Like or something we, you, you have so much value To still add um, mm-hmm. t- Even you know, the books that you, you mentioned hey, just... stress, hey, The no. books you mentioned End up on my children Come no. on no. Where's the water guys I can see yeah. Give me the water <laughs> <laughs> So yeah shout out But you didn't answer Like uh, my second thing man, that This is the question <laughs> You didn't ask I mean, it. You didn't answer No no I did ask asking. You didn't answer Exactly Why your Camino Doesn't smoke weed Did he He, he went on I think we segued but he didn't say exactly why you don't smoke weed. You see, another thing As is that like, like, about Coco and Abom Kulu, when they tell you these things, sometimes they just don't feel like explaining. Uh, they just tell you, learn to lie and see what they are. And yeah. if you want to go ahead and do it, it's about no True enough, uh, two members of the family army who decided to go the marijuana way, things sound of like went funky with them wow. in the story of life. Wow. So, wow. Wow. but I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I'm you've never tried it failing. Obviously, so I'm a more into one. But now, like, I mean, guys now talk about ganja like they're talking about different types of brandy. Like this is, this is, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. About yeah. Sol, yeah. Yes, there's microwave yeah. yeah. popcorn. There's also some crazy old name. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. What's your small cooler mind? One, are you gonna try it? Mm-hmm. Okay, and then um, uh, it's a quickly. Sometimes we force to switch while or the bone thing Or you gonna go with them a coco store with lento lena and zwa like kaya, and then basically you just. Have you ever doubted your dopeness, bro? Doubt it. Your dopeness, like you're fucking great. That's, you're not an imposter. You are who you are. You're amazing at that. You have. I need to be constantly told every now and then because I, 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 I don't know, mm-hmm. man. I need, mm-hmm. I need other people to tell me. Like you're talking about your podcast. I need you people to push me into mm-hmm. that. Wow. You know, I talk about if we're now continuing a mean. documentary, he's pushing me. We know me what sh- you mean. Yes. We know what you mean. Like, we're talking, good. if we're going to shoot a documentary, I may as well be a series, 26 parts. Mm. We can't tell the story in eh? one part. One hour, and it wouldn't make sense. Mm. So I need to be pushed. But being sick, but so, okay, I'm good now. So so we can go. So when do we start? Where's the money? Fuck. <laughs> it's not here. <laughs> Let's call this. Let's call this again. <laughs> Forty meter. Forty meter. You're gonna be out here, man. In no time, we'll be doing a hundred meter race. With Forty <laughs> meter now. Forty. You know, there's one thing uh, Dineo Ranaka once told me. I'll never forget this, bro. She said, "You'll never f- know how you make people feel. How people experience you." Yes, and I'm getting that vibe with you. Like you don't know how amazing you yeah. are, bro. When I saw you, I was like, Zola. If if everybody could get out and watch themselves, Dude. If, if God gave us that option, yeah. we would know. In fact, if God gave us a window, if you could pop and watch 20 years and say, yo, gany old valley. It didn't happen. Yeah. It's scary. It's scary. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> but you're amazing, man. You but are you're amazing. You, 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 you guys, um, the important thing is that any any senior presenter, man, <laughs> anybody who watches you guys, right, at least now has an idea where they want to go or where the youth is going, mm. regardless of where they come from, because you guys are the testimony of that. Mm. So Nane Machita, you should pat yourselves on the back and say you're also doing these things for the youth and show them with I'm Tlamba Young a film school and Malaya Kona Yiko, but there are other ways of doing it and you can get this far until you get recognized internationally. So I understand that for your generation, in a way you're doing what I'm also doing for mm. your generation because you yeah. you are telling the youth to sila. Mm. <laughs> so maybe. The next youth is going to be La. Mm. 
Yeah, bon. So wow, we, we are, you're pushing them. So Ukraine and Tenenza. I'm a fan, by the way. Man. Love it, man. Uh, uh, let's go around the room here, man. Um, yeah. 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 Uh, 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 let's see them people. Yeah, please ask uh, 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 Zola7 a question. How has he influenced you? What do you want to say to him, man? Let's give him his flowers, man. Uh, now, I, I don't have a question. I just want to say that um, Zola7 actually influenced how I think. You know, growing up, well, we used to watch... Zola 7 the show mm. you know and everyone had the dream to just write to Zola 7 you know? right. even though you didn't know what you want but mm. just Zola 7 being there and like okay yeah Zola I'm full and so and so and so and seeing that changed the way I think okay it's possible for a black man from Ekasi to reach where Zola is and also give back to the people back home mm. understand so yeah that's the influence that he actually gave us wow beautiful man wow. Fat Checker doesn't know you, but I'm sure she's got a question. <laughs> she's a 2000. She was born last week. Uh, <laughs> damn, she's a damn. damn. I'm a <laughs> Fat Checker, what do you want to say? Well, I can't say I do not know him. I do remember the show Zola 7, but I think I was like a, a little kid, maybe about my four three years so I just knew that my parents liked it that's it and there was his sim card at home with a little album I think attached to it yeah. so I remember those things but listening to what he had to say today I'm really inspired he it's true what Saul said you need a podcast or a book um it's a few of us, mostly in this modern age, who get the insight that you have. I mean, you were speaking about the traditional concepts of imbelo, imbeleko, I'm sorry for saying it wrong, and uksoma and et cetera, right? We've never done those things. We do not know them. I don't know how to slaughter <laughs> anything. And I'm about to be the next rahadi. I don't know what I'm going to do. So if there's someone who's... Rahadi? Yes, like an aunt. <laughs> and that's how these situations. <laughs> so if if we're given if we're given the platform to actually learn these things, because our parents have westernized us a lot. Yeah. They think yeah. that they're taking yeah. us out of poverty. They do not want to associate us with the way they grew up. So the white is right. And you are cool. just showing us that learning these things are actually important. I mean, I don't even know how to pass that. And if something can oh. happen to our oldest or our elder in the family, Is that vomiting? who's going Pardon. to take? I will. You see, no, yeah. Well, you see, <laughs> technically you are our family. You, see, <laughs> you have palas. <laughs> you have technically a palas or you're bringing yeah. up things, you're talking so, to your ancestors. I'm coming from a young person's perspective. If you are to go for the route of having a book or a podcast, you please do break. highlight on these things because we don't know them. We are lost. The whole bling situation, we also don't know. It's my first time hearing it. And it's something that I'd like to like understand more of. But, yeah. Oh, beautiful. And you'll be the ghost lady. The Therefore, you're so young. <laughs> like, you see, I mean it. <laughs> Yeah, she's right. Uh, give it to you. That's beautiful, man. Yeah, because if there's anyone who's going to have these conversations, it's you because you've got a not an understanding of them. Deeply rooted, mm. understand. If there's anyone you just who I can the say, surface, yeah, if learning. there's anyone who can interview Isangoma, like let's say there's the best Sangoma in South Africa, there's levels, it's you I can trust with that. Mm. And I can still get you and you're asked the relevant questions and still understand you. It's you. And I think mm. that's one of your callings. And you probably thought it's music, but your ancestors are probably laughing. Like, <laughs> music is nothing. You did nothing with music. <laughs> it's probably a podcast on talking about real things that affect real people and African spirituality. Because you're the one artist over quiet that I, I, I think I saw a video once after performing and you're so emotionally overwhelmed backstage, you're probably crying. And, know it, yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. So you, the guy, and you probably think music is your calling, but maybe it's not. It was podcasting, believe it or not. Like he thought radio was his calling. You know what I mean? Mm. It's podcasting. <laughs> so you I wonder probably, why. You're probably, one of, you're probably <laughs> one of those guys and I can have a safe bet and say you're up, bro. So he's a copycat. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Okay. <laughs> uh, Dudu, uh, this is our producer, Dudu. Ah, yeah. uh, jeez. Um, 
huge fan. I'm very happy to have been in this moment with you, you know. Mm. Um, I want to ask about a song that completely makes you emotional. For me, it's Um Zayoni. Wow. Wow. And I want to find out what was happening for you to write Um Zayoni because Kobele. every time I listen to that song, I'm just in a different, different, you know, universe. a different whole universe, exactly. So I just want to know what song, but and also uh, Mzayoni, what was happening in your life for you, Zola, the one that wrote Umjwembe, to write Mzayoni? There's a song called Down by the River. Hmm. It's so hectic, I, I can't listen to it. Hmm. Uh, I, I don't know what it takes for me to listen to it because I was kind of like having a conversation with my mom and my dad mm-hmm. about um, missed conversations. Mm. And I talk to a kid when they're 14, the narrative is going to change when they are 20 <coughs> and it's going to change when they're 25. And there'll always be questions that, and parents, if they are parents in this room, must always be prepared to answer. <laughs> Standard singer Yes. Zayoni in Kulelekon. Okay. Besi busy gang gonzo guy boom. Yeah, right. Because you go sonta from nine o'clock until five. Yes. Zayoni. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But in all that, that's a That too. No, that's African Zion. Oh. Yeah, it's blue partly, and white. Yeah, Similar. it's partly yeah. Zion based. I want you to go and check out a woman called Unefetit. Egyptian. Yes. Egyptian, yes. Egyptian. Yeah. And Nefertiti. check out the Homer people. Mm-hmm. And you'll find out where the extensions come from. Because there's this story with they came Nabelu. <laughs> Just find out would, that hairstyle you have in your head is actually a couple of thousands of years old. Hmm. Yes. True. And definitely. No, no, it's not the fact that we are lost. It's just that the information is not there mm-hmm. at all. So I know sometimes my own pochos and other in lazy and lazy, but basically, yes. I should always defend her because it's story right. and it's tough. Mm. Yes. 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 As soon as was the story, uh, then uh, nobody can say a thing to you. Right. I yeah. mean, what, what you're talking about, the imagery of um, Egyptian people, yeah. when you look at the artwork, there are people who are rocking hairstyles that are similar to yes. what I have on. And yes. someone is going to sit there and say, you were influenced by. But honestly, Egypt is in Africa. Yeah. So meaning this is an African history. You look Egyptian. Yes. Just different. Mm. <laughs> look at her nose. Let's be honest. I, what? <laughs> Dude, it looks Egyptian. No. Kind of <laughs> not. Am I like? Or am I tight? <laughs> no. You do. Uh, uh, it's the striped horse, man. It's the striped horse, too. Yeah, no. Thank you for I, I'm sorry then. And there was a good in makeup was worn first by African warriors before it was worn by women. Mm. Zola, this is not yes. Zola, you've got so much. Come on. I mean, we could take go on. into that. It will take another 30 minutes. So, so. Yeah, right. It's not easy, Bro. but I agree. You should start a podcast. Bro. And I know you already have a producer, but I'll co-produce that podcast. Ah. Definitely. Zoli, stop I'll rapping. It's fine, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I went, I'm right. Ah, yes. cruel. Hey, Tato. Ah, he just likes road kills. <laughs> he just likes... Uh, oh, man, come, on. Oh, come on. Fake Come on. Not road kill. He just likes fake Uh, I just want to say... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, clear your voice. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say, yeah. Oh, so, man, what's say, going though. on, Meg? <laughs> Speak. We're listening. <laughs> no, I just want to say, uh, Ukhrod Manzola doesn't realize with how big he... He was a, a big inspiration to us, like the kids that grew up in the 90s. So, Khotman, I just want to say you were a big inspiration to us. We looked up we looked up to you and um, we really appreciate your contribution to us. Uh, um, there's a lot that, you, that I can say about you, inspiring like young black kids from the townships. Mm. Um, we really appreciate you, Khotman. I don't, I, I don't think you realize how big you were or how big you are mm. in terms of like... Uh, Still is. Um, Roadkill. <laughs> <laughs> I Roadkill enjoyed it. You know, <laughs> that, that one. Ah. <laughs> 
ukulele deliver your flowers man deliver your flowers yeah hot man me i just want to give you your flowers i just want to say you are a big inspiration to every young kid who's growing up in the townships um yeah. we really appreciate you hot man uzola uh, no one that doesn't know you go to ban uzola 7 you all know you go to hot man uzola 7 Uh, he's a big inspiration to us young Zola. kids that grew up in the township. Zola. Me, a person as me, someone who grew up in the township, Ivor Park, I know your contribution, what it did to us as Zola. young kids who grew up in the township. Zola. Zola, Lola. Thank you, Tato. Who's all I know? Like, who's all? Oh, you hot man. I don't think you get the, Bro, the flowers that he deserves. Like, yeah? yeah you're right. Uh, who's who's man, Cho? Who's inspired? Hey. Who's inspired? Hortiz, how's the sun, man? The last podcast we did, you were talking about your son, man. Oh, yes. I need a night tip, you know. You need to sound much. Ah, it's all a clum. Pambata is an, is an artist like me. Is it? Wow, so he, he, he rekindled. Pambata. Yeah, Sizobona. Yeah, his name is Pambata. Oh, wow. Sizobona, where he's going as the years uh, go on. But uh, like the, as it is, I, I think he actually said, I look to rock the country. Yeah. If he says, Ufunu, we are NSA. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> 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 you these schools don't exist in the hood? No. And, that, that's where, and that's where the raw source of yes. the talent is. Yeah. How come we don't have art schools in every township? Tembisa, Forstlo, Katlo Hong. How come there's no Padzima? There's no, no, for real, there's no art school and the art is in the black kid. It's like we're born with the art. And then you Mac ask yourself, born the, I'm born with the talent, you are born with the talent. Everyone in this room was born with the talents, and we're all from the township, and there's no fucking school. What's, what's for that. the viewer's talent? Yourself, <laughs> get him blowjob, <laughs> nigga. Uh, what do you mean? He's got the perfect dick for blowjob. Uh, Show the, put, put some viewer's dick here. Uh, put it here, bitch. Uh, One day we'll testify, uh, man. Uh, in this podcast, it will uh, go from stress uh, to, uh, to uh, this. Lunacy of madness. <laughs> What do I have to be? I was so nice and so proud. You just got me to, to Pornhub in no second. <laughs> But you're right, man. Like we, the talent, the rawness in the, the melanin we possess and the talent and the skills. Yet we don't hone that. Our government is not geared to hone that. Even our government doesn't do shit. Are you talking about blowjobs or what? What are you doing? <laughs> the rawness. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, nigga. That's it. It's so way too much. <laughs> you guys are not normal. <laughs> <laughs> Serious. It's so way too much. A white CTE, Adelaide. They have been doing a lot of disabilities. Nazi Im, Philip Kushli, Kisepara, have been doing a lot of disabilities. Nazi Sizwile, Topsenvili, they have been doing a lot of things that are not the same. And that's, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't name the school. No, I did not name the school Sizwil. I haven't done that for years. That's a, that's a foul fuck I would name the school. That's a foul motherfucker. Ladies How and gentlemen, <laughs> make some noise for the legend. Okay. Zola Seven! <laughs> Man, we love you, bro. We love Podcast and chill, we are here, man. Bro. Boom. Hey, <laughs> Welcome to Black Excellence. Do not fear, for if you do, just sip on some grandeur. And if you still do, ask ourselves, what would Mapapunzi do? Parama chilla, itlesha lefiki. Bungo even if when they ask you, how sabin, do not fear. For if you do, just say, Anistivi. This is the medicine of censorship. This is the pill. Which one is that one? Podcast and chill.